Hey, I'm Rob Olson. I'm the Managing Director of the Manitoba Wildlife Federation. And I want to talk to you a little bit now about duck calling, but looking at it from the big picture. Okay, so here's the thing. The first thing is, what always makes me look like a great duck hunter and a great duck caller is when I'm where they want to be. <laughs> no amount of calling prowess can overcome you being in the wrong place. So the number one rule of duck calling to make yourself a great duck caller is get yourself in the right spot. If you're where they want to be, that is 95% of the battle right off, right off the top. The second most important aspect of being a successful duck caller and duck hunter is to not show them this. Ducks don't like your face. They don't want to see you. Ducks are scared of people. They get hunted from, from Manitoba here where we live all the way to Texas and everywhere in between and all the way back again. So they're smart and they know that when faces look up at them, you know, out of blinds and grass and cattails, it, it, it means hunting, it means hunters, right? So no amount of good calling can overcome lack of concealment. Some ducks are more tolerant than others. Diving ducks will tolerate you not being totally hit, but mallards will not. Mallards are so smart. And so if you look up at the mallards or you're not hidden or you've got stuff spread all over the place and you're not well concealed, you're not going to overcome it with calling. You're just not. So the, the second sort of big rule of duck calling is conceal yourself and then you'll have a chance to call those ducks successfully. Okay, so the third kind of big picture thing I'd like to tell you about with duck calling as a Manitoba duck hunter is has to do with the time of year. Around Thanksgiving up to about say Halloween in Manitoba here, when the green hens start to get their nice plumage is when the mallard hen is choosing her mate for the following breeding season. And that happens here in Manitoba. When they're forming those pair bonds, they're courting and they're really communicating and that's when the calls really start to work well. So in the early fall, early September, you're in a barley field, the mallards are swirling around. You can call till you're blue in the face. They're not calling much at that point. Calling's not really that effective. You can get their attention. If they're flying by, it'll make them look at your decoys a little bit. But when this, this call, this mallard hen call gets really magical is around, around Halloween. But Thanksgiving, it starts to work too. And when you see a lone drake go by or a flock with a bunch of drakes, really any flock of mallards, and you hit them with that mallard hail call, sometimes you can turn them. Sometimes around Halloween, you can bring them in on a string. It gets really effective. And then that's why mallard calling is so popular and important in places like Arkansas because they're fully plumed down there. They have their full plumage. They have their pair bonds. And so they're really answering the call. Manitoba, it's kind of later in the fall when it gets effective. So don't be discouraged if in early September they're not coming. Just remember, it's going to get better and better as the fall goes on. And when it, when it gets to be around Halloween, it's time to make hay with your mallard call.